Another legacy of the Trappist recipe is the famously odoriferous Limburger cheese. At the Chalet Cheese Co-op in Monroe, Wisconsin, master cheesemaker Myron Olson makes Limburger in the same handcrafted manner that the company has used for over a century. Once the curd is formed, it's hand salted, then sent off to the ripening cellar where it gets its trademark bacterial smear. What we're doing is putting a bacteria water onto the surface of the cheese. It's a mixture of water, salt, and a special bacterial linens. And then he's rolling them and smearing each side, each end of the cheese. The bacteria will start to grow, breaks down the protein of the cheese, uh, causes it to go from a very acidy, crumbly type of cheese uh, to where it becomes soft, it softens on the outside of the cheese and works its way in. Limburger is not necessarily the smelliest of washed rind cheeses. Perhaps it's the type of smell that people remember. Limburger's Brevibacterium linens is the same bacteria that's partially responsible for human body odor. Chalet cheese has been propagating this same bacterial culture on the pine boards of its curing cellars since the early 1900s. Today, Chalet Cheese is the only company making Limburger in the United States. But in the early 20th century, Limburger was hugely popular. I've heard figures that at one point there was up to 10 million pounds of Limburger consumed in a year. We currently make 1 million pounds, and that's enough to keep everybody in the U.S. happy.